supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favourite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Right, this is the third guitar that Enya have sponsored videos on. They first approached me a while ago and I took a while to actually reply to them just because I was a bit sceptical in general. I'm glad that I eventually did because they've been surprisingly enjoyable experiences. It's a little bit different to your usual kind of instrument. Uh, so essentially if you've not seen any videos on any of this stuff before, um, these guys make carbon fiber guitars. And you know, not the super expensive carbon fiber guitars, not quite at the entry level, although this, this one is quite a reasonably priced little thing but I think they're interesting instruments in general they have a really smooth feel they have a zero fret and yes yeah, because I've been impressed with their two higher-end models I wanted to check this one out which is a little bit more on the entry level side I'm not going to sugarcoat anything so out of the box that's what we're dealing with Okay, right, what I'm immediately blown away by, we've got this little hole here, which is, you know, to obviously improve the listening experience for me. And it is ringing fantastically well. Right, let's start recording something. I can honestly say that like, that is such a pleasing... Kind of sounds a little bit more produced than an acoustic guitar, um, you know, a bit more sheen to it maybe, and less kind of mid. This is what I've noticed about basically all of the carbon fiber guitars. <laughs> For the, 
the strumming stuff in particular, it's got a great kind of clarity to it. One area that at this end of the market you're going to find with pretty much most guitars is that the frets, for the first few times that you play it, are probably not going to be super, super polished. Um, and that sort of thing you might feel if you're doing... kind of vibrato and lead. That's something that I've consistently found, like, even with Sire guitars, it's not necessarily that they have, like, sharp frets or anything problematic, it's just that the time has not been spent at the factory kind of polishing the frets to uh, the level that you might get on a higher end guitar. Um, without fret dots up here, that becomes a little bit guessworky. That might be a little bit, you know, if you've got a cutaway there, uh, having some dots might be useful. They kind of stop at the 12th fret. Yeah, I think it really excels for kind of strumming stuff. Um, you've got different models with different effects. I'll show you some more of that. But first impressions, I just wanted to literally just unplug it, unplug it, unpack it, um, check it out. You can see into the guitar to see kind of how it's put together. Quite an interesting little piece of stuff. Um, but more importantly than anything else, does it sound like a guitar when you play it? Reassuringly, yes. And um, as I say, this is kind of the cheapest end of the market that Enya do and um, this is the one that I've seen more demos than anything on and uh, yeah I just thought let's give that a go and I am consistently surprised with these Enya things like they're really pretty cool instruments I think. This happens to be the SP1 model which has the built-in kind of Bluetooth speakery thing and some effects and stuff there's an app for that. What I'm more interested in really is like how does it sound and feel to play bearing in mind what kind of portion of the market we're talking about you can think about maybe acoustic guitars in this range And I think, um, you know, one of the things that they talk about is kind of being less sensitive to weather changes and stuff like that. And you did see when I pulled it out of the case, you know, like the tuning was way off. You know, I've tuned it up to, to pitch and we've not got a massive kind of change in action and stuff like that. So it makes me think this is a relatively stable kind of material to be, build a guitar from. got a, a zero fret here so you don't have to worry so much about it being like a 
uh, a low cut nut or anything or a, a high cut nut which is one of the areas on cheap guitars that I think oftentimes needs a bit of attention. Um, I think, yeah, for me... I think there is an argument for having a relatively inexpensive acoustic guitar. Um, I can think of a couple of gigs where, you know, you start off in the day, the guitar is in the car, getting very warm, you get outside, then suddenly the temperature maybe drops at night, getting back into the hot car and that sort of stuff, it's like, uh, a lot for a guitar to deal with sometimes and humidity changes throughout the year. Having something like this made in China out of stuff which, you know, is less susceptible to weather conditions, I think there's a good argument for that sort of thing. Let me know in the comments if you agree or not. If you've got other preferred choices, does it have to have some wood on it for you to be in into it? Um, I think the most obvious things that I would be doing to this guitar out of the box might be putting on a nice set of strings and maybe giving those frets a bit of a polish to give it a, a bit of a better feel underhand. But I've got no sharp fret issues and that sort of stuff. It seems to be intonating pretty well. Quite a bright, resonant guitar. Um, and yeah, exceeds my expectations, I would say. Let me know your experience with them. In the comments, um, have you tried one of these? Have you kept one around? I think this sort of thing, just lying around the house as well, might be a good idea rather than a guitar that's really um, precious to you. Having something you can kind of grab and pick up and if you want, put Bluetooth through it. I think there are kind of good uses for these things and maybe save the wood for the more expensive guitars, maybe. I don't know. Cheers for stopping by.